What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all set today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that dope bell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God heard, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. And I'm going to play catch it by the end, baby. Let's go. Just a go. year later, Disha Montgomery Smith enlisted in the Army back in 2021. Just a year later, Denisha alleged she was assaulted by fellow service members. And weeks later, she was found dead in her barrack. Now, Denisha's family is fighting to learn more about what led to her death for transparency from the Army and for the FBI to take on her case. Denisha's story is a piece of a larger investigation by ABC News Live, Battle Cry, fighting against sexual assault in the military with our Stephanie Ramos. You always think in hope about growing old with your wife or your husband. But I think you always kind of assume you'll grow old with your big sister. She was strong, beautiful, silly, weird, and the type of woman I wish I knew how to be. Denisha is known as PFC or Specialist Montgomery Smith to you all. But to me, she's my big sister. Denisha should be here. Top lawmakers are demanding answers from the Pentagon about Kira Durkin. The growing search for a Fort Hood soldier missing for more than two months. Just last month, at least 14 Army leaders were fired or suspended for their handling of that investigation. A young Army private, four months pregnant, discovered dead in her barracks. The death of another soldier who complained of sexual harassment at Fort Hood. Fort Hood is currently investigating the death of Ana Baldessua Ruiz. Now to a mystery. And the that growing is search for a Fort Hood soldier the death missing of another soldier who Fort Hood is these suicides and incidents at different military bases taking place, what goes through your mind? When is it going to stop? How many is too many? There's so much silence, and we're about to open it up. Where's your mommy? Right there. We're here to bring awareness to the fact that our men and women in uniform continue to be murdered or murdered by suicide. We've got the entire family of Denisha Montgomery Smith right here. She's a military police officer who was assaulted by four other military police officers, and then 21 days later, found dead after she reported it. This is unacceptable. We have to end military sexual assault and hold our senior leaders accountable now. We are I'm very upset with the military because they, they failed my daughter. You will never give up. that it was a suicide. On July 19th, 2022, Army Specialist Denisha Montgomery Smith told her family she was heading back to her post from an outing at a water park with four fellow soldiers. The group had been drinking. At the time, all were stationed at Army Base Wiesbaden in Germany. No, bro. When she said the group got into an altercation inside the car. This video released to Denisha's family by the Army Criminal Investigation Division shows Denisha being pushed down by two people in the back seat of the car. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. As one person in the front records and another watches. Just hours after the alleged assault, Denisha FaceTimed her family in tears, asking them to record their conversation. I'm going to talk to CID tomorrow. I don't trust them. I don't trust my leadership. I don't, I don't want to be here with none of them no more. Her father calling the Red Cross while the family was still on the phone with Denisha, asking for their help to bring his 27-year-old daughter home. She's scared for her life, and I need for her to try to come home or something. They jumped around and covered her nose. We need some help now, please, immediately. Hi, honey. Mom. Yeah. Mom, I want to come home. Mom, this is all I wanted to do. Look. Wow. I have more and more that keep popping up. 
I just want to control. Like, what they did me. A burn mark, we believe, on her shoulder, like a cigarette got burned on her. Her face was just bruised, swollen. Yeah. She she was she, literally like fighting for her life. Bad. And I believe her when she says that she was assaulted, sexually assaulted. In the car, bro. Three weeks after FaceTiming with Denisha, her family was visited by two casualty assistance officers at their doorstep, saying she was found dead. After an investigation, the Army determined the cause of Denisha's death was suicide by hanging, pointing to evidence of a ligature mark and an associated ligature furrow on the neck in her autopsy report. The Criminal Investigation Department provided the family with a report more than 1,500 pages long, listing no suspects. On page 117, they provided a diagram showing how Denisha was reportedly found in her wardrobe, the diagram making it appear as if her knees were resting on the ground at the time she was found. The family's attorney, Lindsay Knapp, believes that Denisha didn't take her own life, saying that there are missing pieces in the military's investigation, and they may know more than they are letting on. As we continue to go on with the case and learn more and more, people in Denisha's unit are sleeping with their supervisors for protection, learning that her supervisor turned off the security footage that would have showed who was entering and exiting Denisha's room the night she died. Report, there was a gap in the security camera recording on the base Cameras did not capture any footage from July 18th, the day Denisha was assaulted, to the morning of August 11th, two days after she was found dead. The family was also provided with a photo showing Denisha's bags were already packed as if she was ready to come home. It shakes the conscience. We're hoping that we can get the FBI to take her case. Knapp asked the former U.S. Attorney General Michael Mukasey to look into the case. He emailed back saying suicide was certainly a possibility given surrounding circumstances. As to the Army, do not overlook that there are some people whose first instinct is to lie and cover up even when the truth would do. The individuals Denisha said were involved in the altercation, one of them being her roommate, were never listed as potential persons of interest in any investigation. Yet the family received a military protection order for no contact with those involved from the Department of Defense. They've granted your family a no contact order from all individuals right, in the car shown I'm during that video. video yes. you know what, what does that tell I'm you? Video, that they're trying baby, to protect you know the souls. Nah, if y'all been catching on to me, y'all been watching my video, you feel me? I just spoke about this army situation. You feel me? When the young man had got all uh, missing, but they mess around and you know and they hit me with a guffer right so i won't be you know what i'm saying doing nothing off nobody else too much you know what i'm saying but i just spoke about this army situation you know uh just like i said you know what i'm saying you supposed to be protected when you're going in the army marines and stuff like that but it seems like you ain't safe nowhere you feel me because uh by these means you know what I'm saying? Throw they self on this woman. You know what I'm saying? Being sexual assault this woman. While she had bruises on her arms. She had burnt marks like from cigarettes or something like that. You know what I'm saying? The the army the army have the nerves to not avoid avoid people with, you know what I'm saying, the things that they need for their family can get closure. You feel me? So it's gonna take the feds, it's going to take the federal, whatever, whoever to come in for they can, you know what I'm saying, do what they need to do because to me, this right here is unnecessary. You feel what I'm saying? This woman crying. You know what I'm saying? These men taking advantage of this lady. You feel what I'm saying? How weak that some of our men keep getting you influence of alcohol. If alcohol gets you like that girl, and you want some some puka lord, you know what I'm saying? If you want some puka lord and they get you like that death, you want to be aggressive towards a woman. I tell you what, don't be aggressive towards no woman. You know what I'm saying? Get out there where y'all at. Go find y'all grizzly bear. And y'all three of y'all can manhandle that grizzly bear and let that grizzly bear slice you up in like three pieces. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? If you in debt, dodge in debt, you know what I'm saying? Accurate like you need to do that, do something, or get something, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Go find your animal out there in the woods, partner. 
You feel what I'm saying? And see how far that gets you. You feel me? You walk out there showing up with rabies on. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You feel me? I don't get it. It's like you supposed to be protected in the army. The army always trying to sugarcoat stuff because you know why? They don't want the government feeling like the government ain't doing the job. Guess what? The government not doing their job. You feel me? The government, the Uncle Sam, they connected together. Together. So why you can't go and make sure these people family get what they need? And talking about this lady hung herself or whatever. I don't think this lady hung herself, be honest with you. I think somebody went in there. You feel me? She was already probably deceased. And what they did, they just hung some up there, put her up there, and left her. So when they do, she'll have a mark or something around her neck or something like that there. You feel what I'm saying? Or either they probably hold her up there, get her own free will, and let her do what she had to do. You feel what I'm saying? Not do what she had to do, but they had to, to really impress this lady to really... I don't think she was hung or something. I think the clown did it. You feel me? I mean, man, when is justice going to really, really get served, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? They need to make a example out of these men zipping these women's up, man. Leave these women's alone, man. These women's, these women want to grow up. They trying to better themselves. You feel what I'm saying? That's why you have so many women stronger than men's now. Men's getting to act dislike females. I'm to my day heart. It's like a woman heart. You know what I'm saying? And you have men, you have women's I mean, heart strong like men's like me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they mind is not on that type of level. You feel what I'm saying? They mind is on like, you know, they want to do things they like. So they get in the um, you know what I'm saying? And, and knowing that they can do this, just like a man can do anything, you feel what I'm saying? You find certain women's they 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 built with that. You know what I'm saying? They keep everything in their notebook, man, right here. Like they can do this all it's all about this hill. When this week, you feel what I'm saying? Ain't no way. When this week you can't win. When this is strong, you know what I'm saying? When you got the knowledge and the strong up here, you can you can put your mind in anything to do, anything for the man to do. You feel what I'm saying? And you have certain women's they 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 tendency they stronger in the men's out here. I don't know what's be going on, man. They let alcohol trigger them and they knew for a fact that what they was doing wrong. Then you have somebody recording why y'all doing all this to this young lady? Man, y'all some stupid men's man, stupid. You know what I'm saying? And it seemed like the girl you can tell she have mixed family, right? But you can tell the guy that were holding her and doing her and doing her like that against her will. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to see if it was in it. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm not racist. I was trying to see if it was in the black hands gonna come across, but it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hand was like, you know, and then they to my, they can't talk to the one that was around her and the same young man that was doing it had her hand over my. The girl said she couldn't breathe. They can't elaborate with them. You feel what I'm saying? And then you have so much footage that cut in half. It's like certain footage stop because you know why? These people know how to clean up a footage. They know how to clean it up. And by my understanding, if you working with the government, right? The government should have every access to the army or the Marines and everything. Because they're the ones sending you out to go to war anyway. So... They, they cameras and, and whatever computer, whatever, it should be sent to the government. It should be sent to the government. You see what I'm saying? Well, you can't hide nothing. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Well, you think you can hide a footage and you can't. And it's, it's still shoot to the government. The government should have their own inside. Like anything going on in the army or whatever. Since they got it, they cameras all over here, over the world, and send these C2 satellites and Knowing this, knowing that, have your tracking every movement, all this and that. The government have all that. So tell me why the government don't have when it comes down to the army base. Tell me what's going on with that part there. That's what I don't get. I don't understand it. That that should be going straight to the to the government. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be able to erase nothing. 
Because that is the government business, man. You feel me? Man, this is just crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It seems like all these taxes and what people do around here, pay taxes for the police and a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? We work to pay taxes. It seems like the ones that work hard and pay all these taxes, it seems like they people will never get ahead of life because the government stripping us. You feel what I'm saying? To help certain people and certain people stripping certain people uh, uh, life. You feel what I'm saying? Like hurting them to the core. You feel what I'm saying? People don't get in the army to join the army for to be uh, 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 molested. They don't get in the army to say that suicide. People don't get in the army and say, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now I'm in the army, now I'm a woman. So you can go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Since all this around, you know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to do whatever to, you know what I'm saying? Since I'm out here by myself, I might as well get me some, you know, who, 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 who. Come on. People don't go in the, the, the Navy or the Army to think like that, man. It's a lot of this crazy reaction going on because the government letting the Army do what they want to do. And the ones that are over the people, they letting them do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because they paying them and plus they close from, uh, might be close friends or might be close family, might be cousins, whatever, don't get their cousins in trouble. So they try to sweep everything up on the road. You feel what I'm saying? They try to cover up a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't want to look bad because he's a sergeant or a captain or whatever. He don't want to look bad because... By him looking bad, that means you ain't got to control other people that are around you. That's that you supposed to be over. You feel what I'm saying? That means everybody else is just doing what they want to do because you ain't been a stand up who you supposed to be over the other guys. If you got a higher rank, you supposed to be you supposed to be on point with your guys. You feel me? Of course, you got to throw to go here and go here. You know, hang out, do what you want to do. You feel me? But it's a minimal to certain things in life. Don't come here wasted. Don't come here doing none of that. If you want to go out and, and take your two, three shots, I'm fine. But you come wasting and smell like alcohol, you know what I'm saying? They should boot them kind of out of there. You feel what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, they, 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 they lifestyle is like whatever they're going through, they turn to alcohol in the um. Some people come out being an alcohol because what they go through in them. Because what type of, you know what I'm saying? What they don't try to fix in the army, man, and they don't fix that. When you leave the army, you come from, from war and all this and that, the, the government don't give you enough help for the help the ones that really is in shell, shell shock, you know what I'm saying, and might have, you know what I'm saying, skip open and all this and that. The army don't uh, uh, survive enough of that. The government do not do that. But y'all y'all sitting there sending people off to go to war for you, you know what I'm saying? Because half of the time you don't want to pay for certain stuff, and then these people come back straight like a looney tune, but you don't give them their family and their kids the help that they need. When you go to war, they should apply good medicine for them people. I'm talking about they should have a real high benefit. You know what I'm saying? And they should give these people a house. You feel me? But they ain't got to worry about struggling. You know what I'm saying? Paying house note. I don't think they got to pay this taxes every year, but give them enough so they can afford to pay their taxes every year and give them a house for free with no mortgage. Only thing they got to pay is taxes. But the government is not seeing it like that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, man. People think um, it's a good life. Um, it's not no good life, man. You feel what I'm saying? Because once you come out that thing, shell shock, you got people in the, that come out straight. You got people that come out funny bundle. You got people that come out, man, they don't have it all together. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they might be absent, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? But... You know what I'm saying, people? I wasn't going to stay on this thing long, but it just bothers me, man, when men be doing that, man, to the to the women's man for no reason, man. I, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. You know what I'm saying? You worked hard to get in the army, then you work hard to do this to a woman? Come on, man. Come on, man. That That's in case before you went in there, you know you already had that problem. You already know what you probably was doing anyway. You were doing it out before you went to the army. You were doing stupid stuff in the... In the streets, and your parent was covering up for you. So when you get in the army, you figure that that, that was going to change your life, what you do out here in the streets. No. You're going to have that same mental. You know what I'm saying? If you got it out here in the streets, you're going to carry that same mental inside the Navy, inside the Army or the Marines or whatever. It depends on up here what you got in your notebook, man. This shit got to be strong. And that's a fact, man. I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? 
Anyway, my good people, I'm going to scratch that. That's the end. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, baby, and smash that dope bell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God free, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.